first step is probably the most important when it comes to long wearing makeup and that's using a primer. On the skin as well as the eyelids, this is going to make such a difference in how long your makeup lasts and how it sits on the skin. The face primer I'm going to go in with is by MAC and it's called Natural Radiance. And the eye primer I'm going to go in with is by NARS and it's their smudge proof eye primer. So you especially want to focus it on the areas where you tend to get the most oily or you notice your makeup kind of acting up a bit. For me it's my cheeks and my forehead. Very easy way to apply the eyeshadow primer. What I do is I do two streaks on the eyes and press that in. And I even like to go a little bit underneath the eyes too to catch any sort of eyeshadow under there. So now that my skin is nice and prepped, we can move into the face products. And I'm going to be going in with a concealer today by MAC, and this is their Pro Longwear line. And they are not kidding about it staying put all day long, and the way it dries down, it's just not going anywhere. So I highly recommend this for the summertime, and I'm in the shade NW20. I'm just using a nice synthetic brush by Real Techniques to rub that in and give me a nice natural finish. Focus it on the areas where you feel like you need coverage. So for me, that's especially underneath the eyes and around my mouth area. Just taking a translucent powder by Laura Mercier, a great powder for all seasons because it's forgiving of when you get a tan or you don't since it's translucent. It's going to fit your skin tone any time of the year, so this is definitely a great product to have. Setting a liquid makeup with a powder is also going to ensure the longevity of your makeup. I'm just going to lightly dust that on because again, we want to avoid any sort of cakiness and just keep it really natural but I especially like to focus it underneath the eyes where I put the majority of that concealer. And for a long wearing makeup, I find that matte powder sticks really well to the skin. It doesn't budge, especially when you have a primer underneath it. It's the Physicians Formula Multicolor Bronzer Palette. And what I do is I pick it on a medium size powder brush. Since we put a powder underneath it, it's going to stick really nicely on top of it. That translucent powder kind of created a buffer between our liquid concealer and this bronzer. By layering, you're really creating that makeup to last a lot longer. So now we can move on to the eyes, and we've already prepped them with an eyeshadow primer, which is great, and now we can move into the eyeshadow. For the eyeshadow, I grabbed one of my favorite drugstore cream eyeshadows. This is the Maybelline 24 Hour Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. What's great about this eyeshadow is that you can just pop it on with your finger. It's easy. You can kind of control the amount that you want to put if you want more of a smoky eye or want more of a day look. Just patting this with my ring finger across my eyelids, it's going to give this really nice shimmery bronze finish to the eyes, as you can see here. So to just clean up the edges a little bit, I'm going to go back in with my bronzer and use this as actual eyeshadow in the crease. And I'm taking it on a big fluffy dome brush. This is the MAC 224 brush. And I'm just choosing like this medium taupe brown here and put this right in the crease so that it smooths out the edge, it's going to lock in that eyeshadow really nicely so it doesn't move or shift. So now your eyeshadow will not go anywhere. We did the cream eyeshadow on the center of the lids and then barricaded it with a nice warm tone brown. Next to define the eyes, I am taking Bobbi Brown's Long Wearing Gel Eyeliner. This stuff does not move. It's great for the summer sweltering heat and of course I have the shade in black. Just defining my upper lash line with a really thin eyeliner brush. And I like to do it a little bit thicker on the outside. And then taper the line as you go in, inward towards the inner corner. You can give your eye a little bit of a flick here too. That always looks nice. Gives the eyes a little bit of a lift. Next, I have Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara, and it's in waterproof so that the eye makeup doesn't run and the eyelashes still look great even if you decide to jump in the pool last minute. I always start at the base of the lashes and then pull through to give the length. For the lips, I am going in with a lip gloss that I cannot stop wearing lately. I think it's because it has lasted so long in my day, and it's the L'Oreal 8 Hour Lip Gloss in Barely Nude. This line just stays put so well. It's kind of like a hybrid of a lip stain, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. So it's kind of like the perfect one in all step. To 
finish off the look, I think this is also the second most important step. The first and the last are the most important steps priming and then setting and one of the best setting sprays to make sure your makeup doesn't budge is by Urban Decay it's the all nighter spray so I go like this over the eyes over the face and then one more for good luck so that just gives life back to your face and prevents the makeup from slipping and sliding it really works so well and highly recommend it for long wearing makeup I hope you all enjoy this video. Thank you so much for stopping by as always, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.